So a function is a set of ordered pairs in which each x value corresponds to exactly one y value. In other words, each x occurs one time. So we're going to look at these two sets of ordered pairs and we're going to determine is it a function or is it not a function. Then we're also going to look at a couple of the component parts. So first I've got 3, 2, 4, 7, negative 2, 6, negative 3, 9. Notice none of the x repeat. That means 3 has one y value of 2, 4 has its own y value of 7, negative 2, 6, negative 3, 9. So this is a function. Now, of this function, there's two component parts. There is the domain and there is the range. The domain is the set of x values for your relation. So in this case, the domain is negative 3, negative 2, 3, and 4. Always try to list your sets in number order. The range is the set of y values. So the y values here are negative 9, 2, 6, and 7. Here's my second example. I've got the set of ordered pairs negative 4, 3, 0, 8, 5, 7, 0, 10. Notice the x value 0 occurs two times. That means the x value 0 does not correspond to exactly one y value. The x value 0 corresponds to two y values. That violates the definition of a function. This is not a function. Again, though, even if it's not a function, you can talk about the domain and the range. The domain of this relation is, the again, the x values. So I have negative 4, 0 and uh, negative 4, 0, and 5. You do not have to repeat values, so you do not have to list the 0 more than once. The range is the set 3, 7, 8, 10. There you go.